Hi. Nathan, what's going on, my friend? Hey, doing good. How about you guys? Oh, you know, just two weeks away, just trying to make everything happen last minute. And, uh, you know, you are one of the important aspects of this entire show with education. Yeah, um, I'm excited. So you're with Social Rocket Pro, and you've kind of developed one of the, I don't know, foremost social marketing and, and visual marketing for the haunt industry. This is something that people want to tap into. Um, and it's not just, Hey, I'm going to make you a video and put it out there. Like you offer a lot of different things. Talk about some of those things. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, uh, if you, if you, uh, if you can, uh, potentially need it, we can do it. Um, both on the haunt side, uh, events, uh, we create resources for events as well as, helping you promote your events yourself. Uh, so that's kind of what I do. And also what I'm teaching in the class is, you know, what people are looking for, what grabs their attention, what works uh, and what works, you know, uh, three, four months ago may not work today. Uh, we're a haunt too. We have family attractions. We have um, all kinds of things that we're having to figure out ourselves because things change, how people respond and the algorithms on social media change. It seems often and we're having to figure it out too so we're figuring it out along with you and um creating content and helping you with ideas to make things work and when they don't figure out why and help make them work uh so uh the two classes that i i'm i'm teaching is uh, uh how to market yourself well whether it's a haunt or a theme park or whatever it is and then also how to create some budget-friendly things to use for those as well as some budget-friendly items to use within your attraction so when people are there they want to talk about it you stole my next question. I was going to ask you what your classes were. So I'll ask you this. When are your classes? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I have one on Saturday and one on Sunday. I believe they're uh, I, uh, the Saturday is an afternoon. I think it's two o'clock. Uh, I, 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 when I looked once, they got changed. So I can't remember what they are. Uh, if Doug's maybe on here, he may can pipe in. But I have one on Saturday and one on Sunday. Um, I believe the Saturday one is the haunt marketing 101. And then the Sunday is the creating budget friendly interactive attractions for your haunt. Um, and so uh, the marketing one is just if you've been established for a while, we have some great resources. Or if you were getting established for the first time or maybe needing to understand what you're doing. So it's more than just marketing for the class. It's really identifying who you are. And so in the Haunt Marketing 101 class, we're going to establish four key areas. Uh, who are you? Um, of course, you're a haunt, um, but what makes you special, unique, different, engaging? Uh, so we're going to identify who are you. So that first part of the class will help establish um, what you're trying to connect with your guest for. Are you just a haunt? Are you a haunt plus other attractions? How do you establish who you are, just not what you are? And then the second will be building your brand um, that, yes, you're a haunt, but uh, what are some things that make you stand out? What are some uh, icon characters? What are some stories? How can we build an image behind your name? Uh, and then third will be launching your brand. Um, and if you've already launched, maybe helping to fine tune it in a way that connects the dots that's, that makes sense. And the fourth one is maintaining your brand. Once you've been established, making sure what you do connects correctly um, and works well. Uh, so helping you to do that with maintaining your brand is going to help you identify where to spend your money, uh, how to have some call to actions from your guests that are browsing, uh, and then also some ways to get connected to other community resources and things, too, to help uh, get your brand in front of more people. Uh, so even if you have other things besides just a haunt, um, these resources are going to be great. Uh, they work in any market, um, but we'll be specific, uh, specifying haunt related things. But any market that you're in, whether it's a fall festival, family farm, a Christmas event, um, an Easter event uh, and a haunted house, uh, these things work. Um, and so it helps you uh, establish and build yourself. And then on the Sunday, uh, I believe is the Sunday one is the creating budget friendly interactive attractions for your haunt. Uh, we'll be looking at RFID, which is radio frequency uh, identification, NFC, which is near field communication, uh, learning how to create some interactive elements to use um, at your attraction. Um, my my uh, kind of Halloween company is called Terror Tap. That's what I'll be uh, kind of representing at, at the uh, uh, expo this year. Um, and a lot of the things that we have, we've kind of developed some things that are already done for you. If you don't have the time or talent, skill or manpower to produce them, we have already done for you things. But in my class, I'll also teach you how to do it yourself. 
And so we'll be showing you how to use some RFID things to use as upsells in your attraction, some NFC things, as well as uh, how to create some uh, triggerable video attractions. You may have had triggerable videos, but how to make it so it's interactive with your guests, uh, as well as some basic projection masking, um, how to create interactive shows, maybe in your midway or other areas of your attraction, and even how to create a 4D motion theater for your attraction. So uh, it's going to be some pretty cool things to learn how to make, create, um, and uh, make some extra money and get people talking about your attraction. So you're like a one-stop shop for everything marketing. That's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now, it's, it's, uh, you bring up a really good point about the do-it-yourself side. Obviously, haunters are very do-it-yourselfers. Uh, yeah. Nine times out of ten, that's how all of us got our starts, is just doing it themselves. But a lot of times you don't have all the resources, and this is a great opportunity to just get the resources, even if you want to do it yourself. Yeah, so I kind of, the, bu the budget-friendly one, you'll get a worksheet that has basically my list of links of places to purchase things that we found seems to be well, some uh, online tutorials, kind of our ideas paired with others' ideas, and just to kind of give you the resource to pull things together um, and give time to kind of talk it out. Uh, I, when I've done classes like this somewhere in the past, uh, so many new ideas have come out of just even the ones that we've talked about. So uh, it should be it should be fun. It should be great. Uh, I'm excited to, to teach it and also to learn from others in there that maybe have ideas that can take it to another level next step, because most of all of these things are things that we've seen other places and expounded on it ourselves. And when creative people get into a room together, pretty cool things happen. All right, last question. A little freebie for the, some of the people that are listening here. What are like the top three mistakes you see with uh, haunt marketing? Uh, sure. Um, not, not being consistent. Um, I believe that everything you produce should look like your brand um, and be consistent. It's so easy to try to create things just to fill space. Um, if it doesn't look consistent and consistent to your brand, uh, people may think it's something else. I've seen some haunts that I thought were a different haunt, but it's just because their logo changed. I've seen places that have four or five versions of their logo um, or uh, different styles, uh, which, you know, from event to event may be, you know, necessary to create that, that, that connection. But just being consistent, having brand consistency and also just create a call to action. Um, content is great. That's filler between your um, events, but making sure your promotions, your ads, what you do have a call to action. It, it makes someone want to purchase a ticket to respond to a question or connect. Um, everything you do should have a purpose behind it, not just there to be there. Um, so I, I think being consistent with that stuff, creating brand consistency uh, and just creating uh, something that's engaging and not just filler. Uh, so many people, I think, believe uh, just having something's better than nothing. I believe being intentional with what you produce and having an idea, having a plan uh, and executing it to the best of your ability or bringing others on board to help make it happen. Um, you know, it, it's it's it, it can be a pitfall when you just create stuff just to post things and there's uh, a lack of consistency or direction behind your content. Fantastic. Well, Nathan, two weeks, man. I can't wait to see it. Can't yeah, wait to I mean, that is going to be great. Um, so I'll, I'll have, I have a booth at uh, Fear Expo, so it's it'll be a uh, – there we go. It'll be Terra Tap. Uh, come see some of the stuff that we've created that you can use in action, and then we'll show you how to make some of it too in the classes. Do you know your booth number by any chance? Um, so it's listed at two different numbers, and I'm not sure which one's correct, so I don't want to give the wrong <laughs> one, but um, – I uh, found it in two different locations and two different numbers. So I think I may have got moved at one point. So I'm not exactly sure. You well, got moved? Wait, wait, you got moved? Well, um, so yeah. on, two, on two different pages, uh, my number's different. Really? Well, yes, I need to look map, at that. Yeah, on, on the map, it's one number. And on the list of vendors, it's a different number. Oh, I see. Well, the list, I have actually heard of that, too, where the list is a little bit off because... The map has been changing according to people coming in, but the list, I don't believe it got changed at the same time. So tell me what number yours was initially, and I'll look at the map and tell you. Oh, gosh. I do not remember. Um, you are 205. Perfect. Okay. So I'm 205. 205. Oh, I will see you guys. Go see Nathan at Tap. 205. Check out his classes. Marketing is a key skill to have in this business, folks. Cannot undervalue that. Hey, it, it, a free it. class giving you top tips. I mean, you can't beat it. Absolutely, Nathan. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for being a part of Fear Expo, and I can't wait to see you in two weeks. Hey, I'm excited. Can't wait to see you guys. Hey, hey, 
sign up for the classes before it fills up. Can't wait to see you there.